Hey YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to more Valheim. It is, it is night time. We're just gonna go sleep. We'll, uh, we'll start in the morning. Right, it is morning. I was actually watching a playthrough of Valheim myself last night. Now, I've watched loads of different playthroughs. I, I love this game. I love watching it. I love playing it. I, I always stop the playthrough before it gets to the point where I've not played. Anyway, this was a slightly different playthrough than usual because it was modded. And I just basically looked into the mods and I just saw so many cool things that I want to play a modded playthrough so bad. So I kind of want to speed this up, even though I said I was going to take it slow. We're actually going to try to speed things up. First, I promised that we would go and deal with the Elder. So we're going to go do that. What we're looking for is, honestly, I just need to store stuff. I need to figure out what do I need to craft these flame arrows. Oh, there's some honey there. We need feathers, resin, and wood. As much of all of it as we can get. So there's feathers, there's resin, more feathers. This is going to be organized. I say this every episode and I cut it every episode because I'm too ashamed to show you how bad my chests are. <laughs> I refuse to let you see it. All right, I think that's all of it. I was hoping for more. But let's see how much we can make. Okay, we are out of wood and resin, but that is 240 arrows. So you can change your arrows by simply right clicking it or if you have none equipped it goes left to right top to bottom of um, what to use. We're going to keep the, the flint ones equipped because we don't want to use these flame ones or anything other than the boss. Now the first thing we've got to do is we've got to go take care of that spawner or go basically hunt for uh, brutes but that spawner is a guaranteed. Is there something back there? That's birch seeds. I wonder what that is for days. Uh, we know we can get a guaranteed uh, ancient ancient seed um, uh, from the spawner. So we're gonna go and do that. So this is the sea, by the way. I promised I'd show you guys what the sea was. I'm sure most of you already know, but this sea is like a dungeon, except when you go inside of it, it's a troll cave. So the only thing inside this dungeon is a troll. It's just, it's a one star. <laughs> nope, no, 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 nope, not trying it. No chance. So there's our spawner. Uh, our waypoint's a little off, but we, we kind of ballparked it. What we're looking for is brutes. I think brutes are the most dangerous one. Otherwise, we just go ahead and destroy this nest. And hopefully in the future, we'll find a third one. We'll try to turn it into a mob spawner. That's a wake left, never mind. Okay, this has a guaranteed drop of an ancient seed. So we have all three. The cool thing about the bosses, let's say if you die trying it, you don't have to go and farm stuff to resummon it. It stays summoned. Right, we're gonna run back. Let's do this. Let's fight the Elder. I've only ever died to this boss once. And that was the first time I fought it. I only got one stars now, which is great. And you know what? I actually promised um, subscriber. We would uh, we'd rename one of the ones that's not gonna be killed. Unless I find a two star. Put that down. I think that gives a comfort bonus. Should say resting. Level five. Yep, four. That does give one. Presents don't, I think. This might, I'm not sure. Um, what else might? This definitely does, so we need some fine wood. Stick a little stool under there if we can. Stick a little chair too. Comfort level eight. We've got 15 minutes rested bonus. Okay. Got a max bow. It's fully repaired. We have 240 fire arrows. I still have the ancient seeds. I don't know what time it is. Here we go. So he does this, which he summons roots, and roots will attack you. So essentially just run out of root range. He'll then shoot at you. We're just gonna chill back in. You can see the top, you know, he's ticking, he's burning. That's what I mean, we're playing it super safe. I'm trying to walk into melee range now, but should be summoning roots on my current location. Alright, some of them everywhere. Just run over here. Go shoot. Grab your loot. We got a corpse run buff. I'm gonna chill behind this rock while I just sort stuff out. Yeah, look at our health regen. That's the corpse run buff. It also affects stamina regen, I think. Wait for the roots to finish, finish spawning this time. And now get running, so the next thing to hide behind, basically. Oh, what? Why the great dwarf? 
Guys, go away. I'm killing your elder. I know, I know. Not about it. I can't see. Oh, he's spawning him again. Just gonna run, just gonna run. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. We somehow parried a great wolf. Alright, summoning roots on me. Let him spawn, and then get running. Wait, Sam, stop. So you stop shooting me. And I just like to go around the pillars. I like the pillars. The pillars make me feel safe. Alright, summoning roots. I'm just gonna walk. Now we're gonna run. Took down a tree behind me. <laughs> if that collapsed on me and killed me, I would be fuming. There's so many roots. We're in a really, really bad position right now. I want him to shoot. So that way I can chill, let my stamina regen. And we know he's not trying to close the distance. I don't know what he's doing right now. Alright, so many roots. Oh shit. Fuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, this tree survives. It did. It did. This one didn't. Alright, summoning new roots. I need to get up close so I can get one of those pillars. The pillars are like the best way of dealing with them, you ask me. Alright, we're back on the pillars. I want to see him all times because I want to know what he's doing. What's he doing? Why is he just walking up on me? Throw stuff at me, that's like your strongest ability. Alright, summon roots. Get walking. Get running. I'm basically trying to get him to, to see that you can throw stuff at me so he doesn't start walking towards me. And the roots. Throw stuff. I don't want him walking on me. I'm right here, big guy. Oh. Shit, what? Defeated. Not bad. Not bad. So we get the Elder Trophy and we get a Swamp Key. So our next goal obviously is to find the next biome, which is the swamp. From there we uh, we try to find a dungeon and we unlock the door with the key. So we've got to find some swamps and we've got to find a swamp with a dungeon in it. Then we go inside of it. I might have been wrong thinking Perhaps we can get away with being very cautious and cheesing it with this armor. We might need to upgrade to bronze. Uh, I just don't want to. I don't want to do more mining. So much footage I've cut out of mining. Anyway, we used hardly any fire arrows, which I'm amazed at. But that's good, because there's another mob we can use to, to use them on. And I need to find them anyway for the, uh, the armor set. Two attempts. That's alright. Usually I am more armored at that point. Uh, maybe I would have built a cauldron and have better health. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. I think we are one copper off making a full armor set. The armor is eight each compared to our two each. So that's an 18 upgrade. Have we crafted all of these? No, we've not done forge cooler. And we haven't done a cauldron or fermenters. And fermenters are going to be very important. They could definitely help in the next zone a lot. Should have done that. I had the stuff to do, I should have just done that before the fight, and I think we've done it first time. Doesn't matter though, doesn't matter the cost of now. What does it take to upgrade these? Just bronze. But I don't think I'm going to bother, I think this armour will suffice. We're actually going to go run a dungeon now. I know, that sounds weird right? Why are you running a dungeon at this point? And that's because I need to, four certain cores to make another portal here and a portal there. We're going to be going there a lot. Well, we're going to be going there at least five times or four times, how many bosses there are. So it's useful to have a port set up there. I always have one set up there. Alright, we need at least four cores. Alright, cool. This is the first one we have three ways to go. And none of them are doors. So this is typically what happens. And early on, you know, that that's terrifying and very dangerous when you have skeletons coming all ways. There's no real way to deal with it, just deal with it.
Of course, we are very armoured <laughs> for skeletons at this point. So, and cool. Hello. I think that's still a little bit scary, right? I think they're poison. I think they do. Yeah, look at my health, man. Poison is terrifying. Day 23. Uh, we don't have enough spaces for this. We're going to actually get rid of this time. And the pearls. Is this the same elder? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. I thought it was on me. I was like, what? Is that four cores? Yep, great. We're not done, though. May as well clear the dungeon. Take it off. Do you need the cores? And the money, and the rubies, and the amber, and all of this. Man, this is not to be a crazy dungeon. Look at that, third spawn location. Wait, we've got a max to come but wow, we do. Uh, we can drop. I know I just said I don't care about trophies, but that's just a troll trophy. I get rid of a troll trophy. I might have to. How many have we got? We've got eight. That's enough for two more portal sets. That's really good. Now I think this dungeon's done. We've got 12. That's three sets of portals. So we can set one up at the stones. At the next biome, which we know is the swamp. And we found a few mountains. So we can set one up at the base of the mountain as well. Just want to run this way a little bit so we have the mountain just peeking on the map. I'm pretty happy we've got done. We've got an armor upgrade. Um, you now just absolutely wreck dungeons. I just don't want to store anything because this whole thing's a mess. I don't know how to fix it. I have no clue how to fix this. Everything is a mess. This house, I think what we just need to do is expand it. It doesn't need destroying, I don't think. I think it just needs expanding. Um, maybe even making an upstairs to it. The only thing I struggle, because like it's got to look nice. In the moment, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad. That looks bad. This, this looks okay. And what I struggle is when you start expanding it, it just looks more and more bad. So I'm thinking maybe we'll expand it that way to start with and just make it into an L shape. I mean, maybe I'll build a little porch that goes around it. Just do something to try to break it up. Because obviously that hasn't got anything to break it up, which is why it just looks so big and solid. I'm definitely going to remove that wall, the, the roof. Um, maybe change the design a little bit. What I'll do off camera at some point is I'll probably chop down <laughs> everything you can see tree-wise. I'll make some new chests and just fill them to the brim with wood. And at that point, I think what we'll do is we'll maybe think about tearing this down, rebuilding it. Because the inside's a mess, the chests are a mess. And then come up with a new storage method to, to store everything in. But that's going to be a lot of process. Which I'm not going to do any of the building off camera, I'm just going to cut trees. And then we'll try to design the building. And I'll look up a load of buildings on Google Images and a lot of uh, videos and see if I can get anything I can steal from other people's designs just to make this nicer, you know? Anyway, thank you for watching. I absolutely love Valheim. We're going to do the game a little bit quicker because I really want to try and mod a playthrough. Plus, I'm not careful. They're going to release the uh, the mountains update and I feel the, uh, the need to start over and uh, rebuild on a new world. Anyway, Thank you for watching, really appreciate that. If you liked the video, please give a like, it really does help. Comment down below, because that also helps a ton. Otherwise, you can, you can subscribe to the channel, or join my Discord for all notifications and updates. Thanks everyone, see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.